Hello, everyone, and welcome to Around Town. I'm Elizabeth Graff, and I have Henry King here with me to talk to us about a very soon upcoming event. Right. In fact, it's happening this weekend, this Saturday, and it's something you are not going to want to miss. Right. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is it's such an exciting event. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. Thank you, Elizabeth. And tell us where we are right now. Well, right now we're in the chapel of uh, Jefferson Street Baptist Church mm -hmm. for this interview. Yes. And it's a beautiful church, too. We're, we're in the chapel, and it's small, but it's it's nice, quaint, comfortable feeling in here. Right. I think so. Yeah. So, so let's tell everyone what's coming up this Saturday here in Dublin. This Saturday in Dublin is the uh, 11th appearance of the Atlanta Pops sponsored by the Dublin Lawrence Arts Council. This is our first offering for the season, and it is at, at the Theater Dublin at 7.30 this coming Saturday. Mm -hmm. Now, how pe can uh, people get tickets to this? People can either get, they can get tickets at the door, or they can call the theater for tickets, mm -hmm. or they can contact um, Sue Ella Mullis, mm -hmm. Mrs. Don Mullis, and she is our uh, membership chairperson. We got the numbers right here for you for anyone who's interested. Now, uh, explain to those who are unfamiliar uh, with the A Atlanta Pops. Um, I can tell you it is music, it's an orchestra, and it's beautiful music. Absolutely, and, and they have been coming here for quite a while. They do a large variety of music, and it's always entertaining, always exceptional. Mm -hmm. Their uh, director actually is, is coming from... Um, Nevada. Wow. Uh, he is um, uh, Jason Altieri, and he has directed for several years. He is a very entertaining director. He he relates to the audience, and he's very kind of flashy oh. in his appearance. Well, see, that that really you know keeps the audience audience oh, it attention. Involves them, yes. Definitely, it, and not just the music, which I'm sure is fantastic. It is. But when you have someone up there. That, that, you know, is entertaining. It's like a bonus. It is. It certainly is. Mm -hmm. And he is that way. Now, this is the 11th year right. in a row right. that they've been coming here in Dublin. How did that get started? I'm well, pretty sure you had something to do with I it. I had a little bit to do with it. Several years ago, well, I, I became uh, vice president in charge of programming for the Dublin Lawrence Arts Council. And even prior to that, we had two organizations that kind of melded together to create the DLAC, and um, I, had, I was president at that time. I had some desires for Dublin, and one of them was to bring um, an orchestra to Dublin, which had not happened very much, I don't think, in the past. And so about 11 years ago, uh, through a donation given by the Allgood family, we brought the Atlanta Pops for the first time to Dublin. And then that just proceeded year after year, and we have done that now every year. This will be the 11th season that we have started our uh, programming with the Atlanta Pops Orchestra. Wow. And, and it, what, what was it like your, the, the first um, time they came here? What kind of a response did you get? We had a fan, well, we've had a great response every time they've every been year. here, yes. And, of course, that first time was something very special because mm -hmm. that had never happened here before. Right. And it seems like any time you bring to Dublin something from Atlanta, it's kind of special. Mm, yes. <laughs> well, you know, it's been 11 years, too. I'm sure that um, a lot of people have made this a tradition that every year that they do this. Yes. Uh, people will not miss it that have been to one. They will keep coming back. Right. right. Oh, gee, I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> and... and um, you had a lot um, to, to put into this, to, to work to, uh, towards this upcoming performance, too. Um, but before we get into that, let's tell everyone um, your background. My background is I'm from West Virginia. Mm -hmm. And I started taking piano lessons at a very young age. I lived on a farm, and I started taking on an old, upright piano. And I studied for many years, just taking piano lessons and so forth. And then I first went to Cincinnati Conservatory of Music on a scholarship in piano and organ performance. Then I taught piano for 10 years privately and went, wow. went back and to Marshall University in Huntington, West Virginia. 
and got a degree in uh, vocal and instrumental music and taught in the uh, school, uh, school system there in West Virginia for several years before going into what you would call full-time ministry. Right. And that changed my whole lifestyle and so forth. Right. And that's eventually what led to Dublin, Georgia. But I had quite a tremendous background and variety of background. Yes. I've uh, studied everything from country music to gospel music to classical music to any and, and enjoy all of it. So it gives me a kind of a wide scope of interest. I noticed you didn't mention rap. Uh, rap, just a little bit different. I, I think that's just out of my age range, if you, if you can understand that. No, it's not an age range thing. I tell you, um, uh, music to me is, it's, it's beautiful, beautiful music, beautiful words. It's like poetry. Right. Um, and, and, and you, you use your instruments and your voice. Right. To, to portray that too. You do. Uh, the instruments are used, I think, to create beautiful music. Yes. To me, the vocal music is to get across whatever message that is, be right. it popular music or religious music or whatever. It's, it's the, it's the uh, expression of the vocal mm -hmm. that, that gives the message to people. Yes. And I think that's important. To me, that's important oh, anyway. It is. Now, I want to go back. Okay. You said that you started playing on an upright piano yes. on a farm. It, you lived on a farm. I did. So you had chores, right? You had those farm Ooh, chores to well, do? Well, yes, we had things to do like that. I never dreamed that one day, uh, and I, I, I just never dreamed that one day I would be on the stage with the Atlanta Pops Orchestra. So that's what we're going to, guys. <laughs> Mr. King here is going to be performing, and and, and it's going to be really exciting. How, how did you get involved in... in performing with the Atlanta Pops. Well, I, I became friends with the promoter, and I've used them for several things like fundraisers. We, we have a thing that I started several years ago called the Crescendo, and it's at the Dublin Country Club, and that's our major fundraiser for the year. Wow. And uh, Mr. Altieri, who is our, our promoter, I've used several things from him and got to know him really well. And he got to know me. He's heard me play and so forth. And he invited me to be part of this this year, which caught me totally by surprise. I did not expect this to happen. Wow. And I, don't, I, I have directed an orchestra, but I've never actually played like this. So I'm a little bit maybe yes. nervous. <laughs> I'm sure you, your, res, your first response was, what? And no? And then maybe after that was, no. you bet. I had to think about it a little yeah. bit first. <laughs> I bet. Because it requires a little bit of practice. And I only get one chance to practice with them, and that's Saturday, the day that we do the performance, is the only time that I'll have to be with the entire orchestra. So that causes perhaps a little bit of stress. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Oh, boy. I, it's going to be, I can't even imagine. You'll be up there, and I'm sure they have had plenty of times I don't know. With, with the orchestra to <laughs> practice, and, and here you are. Here I am, last minute, first timer. <laughs> yes. And what, what song? Can, can I ask what song you're uh, going to be playing? I'm playing two numbers with them. One is, uh, perhaps you are familiar with Somewhere in Time. Yes. And uh, I'll Take Romance, which is an old... The whole theme of this... Uh, let, me, let me just make sure I get this correct, because I have the program. The entire program is called Isn't It Romantic?, and, and it basically has songs dealing with uh, romance, but there's also things that come in like Fathom of the Opera, The Beauty and the Beast, uh, different things from that West Side Story, but it's all based around romance. romance. Right. Ooh, it should have a spot on the floor where you could dance, too. <laughs> well, that would work out fine. Yes. I'm hoping the theater will be so full that we won't have a spot on the floor. Oh, that's... Oh. <laughs> I'm sure it, it, sure it will be very full. Tell us once again, when is this one-time-only performance? It is this Saturday night at 7.30 at Theater Dublin, and tickets may be purchased at the door. And the ticket that you purchase, it is $45, but that includes admission mm -hmm. to all of the season's offerings. So you're just not going to be getting a ticket to Saturday night. You'll be getting a ticket to anything the Dublin Lawrence Arts Council offers this year, 2014-2015 wow. season. Wow. Now, that's, that's an awesome offer. Tell us about the Dublin Lawrence Art Council. 
Well, the, the Dublin Lawrence Arts Council was developed primarily to bring quality entertainment into Dublin, and we've connected with the Theatre Dublin to bring that type of entertainment to Dublin. Mm -hmm. Our board consists of people who are just interested, really, in bringing quality entertainment to Dublin, Georgia. Uh, some of it is classical music, some is popular music. It's not necessarily the style of music that is brought in or performances that are brought in. It's to bring quality performances to Dublin, Georgia. So such we, as the Atlanta Pops. Such as the Atlanta Pops. We bring in things probably that you might go to Atlanta uh, to see, but they're brought in by us to Dublin, Georgia. So you save the two-hour drive, you save the two-hour worth of gas right. right here in Dublin. Right, right. And it's a nonprofit organization. Everyone involved in it is a volunteer. Mm -hmm. So there's no money that actually is made by anyone in our organization. It is all put back in to bring that entertainment into Dublin. That's fantastic. And there's a website that anyone can check it out, the Dublin um, Lawrence Art Council. And, um, and we'll show it to you. That way you don't have to try to look it up. <laughs> I don't think I have it. <laughs> I think it's just Dublin Lawrence Arts Council in, in Dublin, Georgia, and you can find okay. it. Okay, all right. Now, we're going to go for a break right now. But when we come back, we have a treat for you. Mr. Henry King will play a couple of numbers. But if you want to hear what, he want, what he's going to play at um, the Atlanta Pops uh, performance, you've got to show up at the um, this Saturday at uh, 7 o'clock. 7.30. 7.30. You, you know, be seven, there at 7. 7 o'clock to right. get a good seat. All right. So, so stay with us, and we'll come back, and we'll show you that. You're watching Around Town. Since our founding, Roach Farm and Garden believes in some simple things. Quality service, the best products for today's gardener, and the knowledge and experience it takes to make your next outdoor project a success. When you shop with us, we put you first. We guarantee excellence from our team and the best shopping experience. At Roach Farm and Garden, our heritage continues. We like to think of it as just doing business the right way. Roach Farm and Garden, serving you in two convenient locations. Welcome back to Around Town, and ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Henry King. Thank you, Elizabeth. It's really good to be here. I'm going to play a song that's one of my favorites, and probably all of you know. It's called Over the Rainbow, and that's kind of a familiar song and a well-liked song for just about anybody, any generation that we have. So here is my version of Over the Rainbow. Mm -hmm. 